my man. <laughs> so just more in a week, how do you feel about depth in the secondary and all that? Well, you know, we always want to get better. Um, I think the, the depth right now is, is we're still working on it, still trying to find guys to put in certain positions. Um, I think the, the guys are being positive. They're working hard. You know, we got some things to build off from the scrimmage, um, but we still need to continue to get better. So, you know, I, I think we're okay where we are. I think we can continue to work on it and get better. It looks like both those freshman corners were getting second-team reps today. How are those guys? Have they progressed? They've been getting second-team reps. Uh, you know, I've been mixing them in with the older safety so they understand the concepts a lot better. Uh, they're progressing, I think, where we need them at right now. They're right there where we want them. Uh, is J.D. a guy you're still moving around to some different spots? We know he was, we heard he was doing that earlier. Yeah, J.D. is a versatile football player, very athletic, so I try to move him around uh, in the boundary, in the nickel, different positions. You know, uh, he's been a positive role model to some of those young guys, getting them uh, lined up and, and showing them that, hey, you got to learn the defense, not just your position. So it's been a good adjustment for him. I mean, this summer everybody talked the secondary was, was maybe the strength of this defense. How much, though, is, is your all success depending on what happens in the front seven and how much pressure they can get and how much they can well, 100 percent, we got to have success up front. Uh, if we can't stop the run, even with the secondary fits, uh, and we can't get to the quarterback, it doesn't matter how good your, your DBs are and vice versa. If, if, if we can't stop people from catching the ball, it doesn't matter how much pressure we get on the quarterback. So it's got to work together hand in hand. You know, I, it always starts up front. You got to find guys that can stop the run and affect the quarterback. And then you have some guys in secondary and linebackers that can make plays when the ball's in the air.